Yeah, I mean, it's got to be better, especially when you're playing a really, really good team and, um, you know, and you're up against a really good pitcher. You've got to, you know, you got to do the little things that allow you to win ball games. Um, you know, bottom line is we're really close to playing a really good brand in a complete game. We're just, uh, you know, break down here and there that are that are really costing us. That Brantley ball, I believe, two left in the seventh. Did you think Frazier should have caught that? I mean, it's a tough play. Look, Frazier had a couple plays out there that, you know, I thought he had good breaks on, um, you know, laid out for correctly. You know, difficult chances, obviously, ones that I'm sure um, he, he certainly could have made. But, um, you know, uh, the aggressive play is there. And those are the kind of plays in these games where, you know, you're up against a good team and a good pitcher. You know, those are the plays that can obviously swing a game. Chad Green looks like he has struggled a little bit this season, clearly looked off today. What do you see going on from him on the mound? Yeah, I mean, today he lost strikes on a little bit, which is kind of uncharacteristic for him. Um, but, you know, just got to get back to that life on the fastball. You know, obviously, th they, ch you know, I think sell out at times for knowing that he's got that good characteristic on his fastball, especially when he's up in the zone. So to be able to mix in enough, you know, slider change up just to keep them honest and then get back to playing that fastball up in the zone, um, you know, is, is the key for him. But uncharacteristic for him to lose the strike zone a little bit there. Are you surprised that Gardner didn't run after that bun? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I was. What was his explanation on that? Just. I think just read it as, as being foul and just uh, got jammed up. I mean, that's, you know, you, obviously you got you to gotta move there, and, and that's one of those very uncharacteristic plays for a guy that's usually really good at the intangible things. How much more of a difficult road is it for you now that, you know, you know you're not going to have Severino for a long, long time? Well, I mean, uh, there's no denying how important he is and how good of a pitcher he is. Um, but we're also very close to making this thing run at a high level. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. And even in these two games, you know, some mistakes or plays that we didn't make tonight that we could have, you know, swings the game. The bottom line is we've gone up against two pitchers and, and had leads late and just haven't been able to hold them. I feel like we're close to breaking out and, uh, you know, the guys that um, have needed to step up in some degrees really have and are getting opportunities right now. And there's no doubt in my mind we'll get this baby rolling. Were you surprised when you heard the diagnosis? Um, I guess a little bit, but, um, you know, also, I don't know if relief's the right word, but, you know, a little bit like, okay, now we know what, what it is. A little relief that it's not a surgery thing. Obviously, it's going to take more time now. Um, but a little comfort in knowing, okay, this is what it is. Appears to be treatable. Just going to take some time, obviously. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get a, a, a healthy, strong, and fresh Seve back uh, for a good portion of the season. What can you do to see? Lewis has come out like that before, like mm -hmm. gangbusters, and then sort of loses it. What can you do to get him from Yeah, I mean, it's just just experience. It's 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 you're seeing a young, talented pitcher that um, flashes it so much, and it's just, you know, sometimes the learning curve at the big league level, you know, sometimes it's it's tough to make that final step. But he, I think everyone that watches can see how close he is um, and can see how dominant the stuff can be. Um, you know, just inevitably, though, he just gets, you know, trouble usually a couple innings in with, with the pitch count and, and throwing a lot of pitches and working real hard and, you know, a little bit of diminished stuff as he gets deeper into the game. But, um, you know, there's a lot to be excited about there, and he's just close but hasn't turned that corner to become the guy I think we believe he can be. Aaron, we've asked you about mistakes, sloppiness, uh, mm -hmm. more than a few times early on in the season. Is there one thing that you can attribute it to? Uh, no. You know, I feel like we're prepared. I feel like the guys are focused. I love the way the guys are competing. Um, but, you know, when, when you're not clicking on all cylinders, you got to do, you know, the little things because every little thing matters. And, you know, it, it, it's important that, um, 
you know, we, we learn from, you know, every time there is a bump in a road, every time there is a little bit of a mistake, important that we learn from it and grow from it and uh, confident we will.